So we recently picked up these RGB lightsaber lights from Yonyo, and today I'm gonna to show you three ways that you can use RGB lights to spice up your videos. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesdays. My name is Camilla for DKD21 Media. I make videos here about stepping up your production quality. So if there's something that you're into, consider subscribing. So RGB lights are great because they give us access to all the wavelengths of the light spectrum. And more specifically, the red, green, and blue color wheel. So now in the filmmaking book, color is equal to emotion. Color is used to set the tone of a scene before an actor has even spoken or done anything. We experience a specific psychological reaction when we see different types of colors. For example, red is used to deliver anger, passion or power. If you look at the Star Wars films, you see this a lot. Orange or tungsten is used to deliver warmth, comfort, happiness, like you're at home in front of a fireplace. And blue is associated with darkness, loneliness, and sometimes calmness, depending on the context. This was actually very well expressed in the film Inside Out, where there were different characters that were all of a different color, and each color represented a different emotion. So the RGB lights that we're using are the Yonuo YN360 RGB light sticks, that's a mouthful, and I cannot recommend these enough. These are the version ones because the version twos had something that made them quite impractical, but I won't get into it. If you want me to do a review of these lights, let me know in the description below. So I've been banging out photos and videos on my Instagram with these, and they're actually so fun. They also helped me a lot to learn about color and light in videos so here are three ways that you can use rgb lights to spice up your videos and make them look good this quick tip may not be that quick after all so number one creating color contrast so when you use complementary colors or opposite colors in the color wheel you get what is called color contrast and this added layer of contrast adds depth to your videos and we all know depth to your videos makes them look nicer obviously subjective so here's the current setup that we have using daylight and only daylight we have a rim light we have a side kind of kicker light and we have the key light right in front of us and they're all the same color daylight and i've clicked my fingers here's the same shot but with teal as my rim light uh, we've got tungsten as my kind of kicker light and my key light is daylight so as you can see we have another layer of contrast in our image now if you haven't guessed this is called the orange and teal look and it's a color scheme used a lot in blockbuster films here are about a dozen movie covers that use the same exact color scheme this was also done very well in the film joker by lauren Scher and I'll leave some of the stuff that he done in the description below because it's pretty cool. So yeah, using RGB lights for color contrast is very fun. It's great for photography and videography. So the second way to use RGB lights in your videos is using them as practicals. Now these are very commonly used in music videos and hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Quiero desaparecer como un mago no volver Y con carro, bicicleta, una nave o cohete No me importa para donde con el tiempo que me pone Yo soy como Bear Grylls Sobrevivo en un bosque, me largo a otro país De pronto voy a París No te sorprendas si me encuentras caminando en Nice Yo nací en un paradiso, ahora escupo a el piso Por ahora no violencia Otro tiro, perdóname oh, So yeah Using them as practicals is a very nice way to add some visual interest to your videos. And you can also combine them with the last tip, which is to use them as color contrast. And they by themselves also can be used to add depth to a shot. For example, in this video I did for the James Matthews spin shot challenge, I embraced these lights and put them behind the car as the car was spinning to kind of make it look like these lights were actually street lights. I also saw this a lot in Zach Ramellan's short film Freelancer, and you can see that he uses a tealish blue practical light. It kind of gives like a very futuristic -y look to them. And the third and final way to use RGB lights in your videos is to use them to supplement organic lighting. Now, I don't know if organic is the right term for this. The idea here is to use RGB lights to supplement light that already exists naturally in our daily lives, such as moonlight, fireplace, for example. So here is a shot of me in bed, as that's where I I spent most of my time in quarantine. The lamp here is lighting my face with a tungsten orangey color. Or is it? Haha. No, it's not. As you can see, the light that the tungsten bedside lamp emits isn't strong enough to actually light up the scene. So I supplemented it with the Yonyo light. 
so yeah those were three ways to use rgb lights in your videos play around with the tips have fun with them they're really fun to use and i'm sure you can create some sick videos so those are my suggestions if you have any leave them down in the comments below because i read all of them i promise you and if this video helped you out in any way make sure to leave it a like because that helps us out a lot if you want to see more videos like these and be notified when i get one out make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button and with all that said and done i will see you in the next video Just